and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and today I want to share with you what I eat in a day. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you what I eat in a day. So I've watched a few videos on YouTube with certain celebrities that share with you the sorts of foods that they like to eat in a day. So they won't do one specific day but they'll do like a week of what they like to eat and I thought I'd do the same today. I find these videos really interesting so I thought I'd share all the things that I like to eat with you today. I like to get up about 5.20 in the morning to start Start my day. I know this seems a bit crazy but the house is really quiet and I really enjoy getting up at that time of day. Um, I find my day goes better if I get up earlier. So when I get up I normally tongue scrape and I will do a video about that very soon I promise. I keep promising but I haven't done one yet so I will do a video about that and then I go downstairs and I make myself my first hot drink. So I put on the kettle and to a into a big mug I put fennel seeds, whole cloves, coriander seeds and cumin seeds and I pour hot water on that and this is an Ay Ayurvedic drink. So basically it's really good for helping to cleanse the system first thing in the morning um, and it's really good at aiding digestion for the rest of the day as well and I found my system is a lot better since I've been drinking this first thing in the morning. There may be a lot of people out there who are willing to dispute that it does anything to your system but I find it helps me and even if it is the placebo effect I find it really helpful. And then once I've done my little morning routine, so I'll do, sit and do some breathing exercises and then maybe I'll do some yoga or some cardio and weights. And then once I've done that and I've done a little bit of meditation, it's normally time to start getting ready. So Ted will get up about seven and I'll normally come out into the kitchen and I'll put the kettle back into the kitchen. So I take the kettle the night before and I put it into the back room because I don't want to wake anybody up and that's the room where you can't really hear anything um, upstairs. So you can close the door as well. We live in a very open plan house. So if I boiled the kettle down here in the kitchen, my husband and son might hear it in the morning. So I take it to the back room. So once Ted is up, I then bring the kettle back out into the kitchen and I like to have a second hot drink and I like to make myself a ginger, um, turmeric and lime tea. So I will do this with fresh ginger, a piece of fresh turmeric and a squeeze of fresh lime as well. And again, I put that into a big mug and I normally leave that downstairs while I go and shower. But just before I go and shower, I will put some coconut oil in my mouth and I will oil pull while I'm in the shower. Again, this is another good way to cleanse the body according to Ayurveda. And again, there might be people out there who dispute this completely, but I find this um, to be really helpful for my teeth and gums and breasts. So that's why I do it. So once I've oil pulled, I will spit that out and then I will brush my teeth after the shower, get dressed, come downstairs, and I will drink the lemon, uh, the lime, ginger, and turmeric tea. And I will normally take my pills at that time. So I have a lot of vitamin pills that I like to take first thing in the morning as well. Um, these were recommended by my homeopath. And um, I won't show them to you now because there are quite a lot of them. But I have done a video previously and I will link that in the description box below where I share what I'm taking. So I will link that down below for you. And then once I've drunk that and taken my pills, I will then have breakfast. So for breakfast, I have about five different choices that I like to go to in the morning. So I will, I've um, started to eat quinoa a lot in the morning. So I have this little recipe that I really like and it is on my blog googieskitchenlife.com as well. So I will link all of these recipes down below. Um, so the quinoa recipe, I like to make a, what I call an apple crumble quinoa porridge. So I will pour probably about two thirds of a cup of quinoa 
into a um, bowl the night before and then I'll pour it into a colander and I will wash that off um, and then once I've washed it I will put it into a saucepan and I will add hot uh, cold water to that and I'll also add um, either a grated apple some raisins some walnuts maybe some flaxseed as well and I'll leave that all to soak overnight um, and then in the morning just before I go upstairs I will put the um, uh, pan onto boil um, and I'll bring it to the bowl and then I'll let it simmer while I'm in the shower and then once I'm finished in the shower I normally come downstairs and mix it um, stir it round and it's normally cooked by then so I will remove it from the heat go upstairs get dressed and come down and then my breakfast is ready so I like to do that, I like to do that with millet as well and I also like to do that with um, rice, so jasmine rice works really well as a breakfast so the millet one I will use um, tropical fruits for that so I use mango and pineapple and I'll add pumpkin seeds and I'll also add cardamom pods as well I like to add the whole cardamom pod because I find if I soak it with the whole cardamom pod overnight it tends to taste a bit more like cardamom in there. If you can get um, ground cardamom then please use ground cardamom because I think you'll probably find it tastes better and you won't have to pick out these whole cardamom pods either. Um, and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you too. So yes, I like to use whole cardamom pods. You can also crack them in your teeth and pull out the seeds and put those in. But again, I find you lose the flavour a bit if you don't use the whole cardamom pod. So I like to use the whole cardamom pod. And when I find it in the porridge, I will pick it out. So in the millet porridge, I will just take it out. I don't eat it, it's not very nice. So yes, it's not very chewable, I have to say. But I like to use cardamom pods in my millet porridge and I also like to have jasmine rice as I've mentioned and I like to use um, blueberries and raspberries in this and I will add uh, flaxseed and um, pumpkin seeds as well just to add a bit of extra flavour and texture and I find this is like eating rice pudding in the morning so that's my three porridge breakfasts and I also do have ordinary porridge as well and again I like to soak this overnight and leave it in the fridge so I soak it with all the fruit, the flax seeds, the chia seeds, the pumpkin seeds in and the cinnamon as well and then in the morning I will take that out of the bowl and I would add a lot of water to it and then I break it up with a spoon and then I just stir that at the hob and it normally takes about five to ten minutes to cook that so I won't leave that on to boil like I do with the other ones um, but I will make that after I've had my shower and got dressed and then my final breakfast that I like to have, I love having eggs in the morning and I normally have eggs about twice a week. So I'll have eggs with either quinoa bread that I like to make or pancakes that I also like to make. So I either have those with sweet potato pancakes, so savoury pancakes or marmite and cheese pancakes as well and I'll have that with half an avocado and some spinach as well so that's my breakfast and then on to drinks during the day and once I've walked here to school and come home the first thing I will do is boil the kettle and I will make myself a green tea um, I like tea and coffee tea and coffee don't like me so when I fell pregnant with Ted I kind of gave up tea and coffee and then I started drinking it again once I'd given birth and given up breastfeeding and all that stuff and I found it made me go a bit stir crazy um, so I gave it up but I do find that one cup of green tea I'm fine on if I have any more than one cup I do find myself waking up in the night as well so I definitely think I have a sensitivity to caffeine 
but yes I do like one cup in the morning I find it wakes me up and uh, just makes me feel a bit more alive um, and I also try to drink about two to three big cups of warm water during my day it's normally about two sometimes it's about three um, and I find that this helps with my digestion as well and if I drink the cumin seeds and the lime ginger and turmeric tea then I feel like I've had my three litres or two to three litres of water a day so yes I like to have those as drinks and I will also have things like ginger tea as well maybe an apple and cinnamon tea after my lunch um, I can have we also have nettle tea and peppermint tea as well and they're some of my favorites I have to say oh and I also love a licorice and peppermint tea and now on to snacks and I try not to snack during my meals but I do tend to get a bit peckish normally about 11 o'clock and maybe about four o'clock in the afternoon as well so after breakfast and lunch I do tend to get a little bit peckish so I like to have fruit if I'm in that kind of mood so I will have something like a banana maybe about 11 o'clock or an apple or some clementines as well we always have fresh fruit in the house so I always try to leave it lying around so that people can just eat it as and when they want to um, but I also like to if I'm a little bit more hungry than just peckish I will have some nuts so I've got pecans and I've got walnuts as well that I like to eat and I also like to have cashew nuts as well and then I also have rice cakes as well which I will either use marmite on I think I did get the marmite out there it is so I can't eat marmite that you buy in the shops like marmite vegemite we buy this special one by Meridian and it's a yeast extract and it's gluten and dairy free I have a small gluten allergy, that's my dishwasher about to go off, you can tell this is real life can't you? Um, so I have a small gluten allergy and um, I can't eat the marmite that they sell in the shops because it actually contains wheat in it. So I like this one by Meridian, it's just basically a yeast extract and it has nothing else in it either so it's a really good one. Um, it is slightly more expensive than the marmite you buy in the shops. But in Holland and Barrett, which is a health food store in the UK, they sell this on, uh, they sometimes sell it on special. So we buy quite a few jars and then just store it in the house until we want to eat it. So yes, I like to have that. And I will also have rice cakes with almond butter as well. So that's my snacks. And now on to lunches. So for lunch I normally have leftovers from the night before so on Sunday evening we had a chicken dish so on Monday lunchtime I had that for my lunch and then on Monday night we had salmon burgers so I kept one aside and I cooked that on the Tuesday and I had that with some millet but on the Monday I had it with a sweet potato so I do try to vary what I eat every day and if there aren't any leftovers, I normally have something called kittery. And kittery is something they use in Ayurvedic practices. So what I will do is I will rinse off some quinoa and some green lentils. And I will put those into a pan and I will cook those until there's no water in the pan. And then I will add fried red onion to that. So I'll chop up probably a half or a quarter of an onion, depending on how big it is. And I'll also add some cumin seeds to that as well. And I'll fry those off until the onions are soft. Um, and I'll add those to the kittery and then I'll also add dill as well or I, could, I sometimes I add coriander if I can't get dill and I also add things like spinach or rocket or kale as well um, and it's a really delicious dish and you can add a squeeze of lemon to it as well just to give it that bit of extra flavour and it's really nice for lunches. They use kittery in cleansing, um, so to cleanse your body you would eat kittery for breakfast, lunch and dinner and I have tried this and it did make me feel a lot better after I'd done it but I had to do it for three days and having kittery for breakfast in the morning is not, I prefer something sweet 
to be honest with you and I found that a little bit um, hard going I have to say and after the third day I was a bit fed up with Kittery I did leave it for a couple of weeks before I had it again I have to say but yes those are the sorts of lunches I like to have and then on to dinners and I do like to be organised when it comes to dinners. I like to know what we're going to have. Um, so I will write a menu for the week um, and I will put this on a board in our kitchen um, so that everybody knows what we're going to be having. Occasionally I will swap some of the meals around if I don't fancy one thing on one night but normally we stick to the menu that I have written. Um, and I like to have a uh, three vegan or vegetarian meals during the week and then the rest are meat and fish so we'll have two fish meals and two uh, meat meals and I like to do the fish meals on a Friday and a Monday and I like to do the meat meals on a Saturday and a Sunday and then during the week we will have as I said vegan or vegetarian normally it's more vegan I tend to lean towards but occasionally we'll have something like an omelette or maybe some baked eggs or something with cheese in so yes we do have a wide variety of food um, I like to cook either beef, chicken or pork. I did used to cook turkey um, and I do like to buy my meat from a local butcher's um, and there was a really nice local butcher's down the road that always used to sell minced turkey but unfortunately that's gone now. They weren't organic but the meat that they sold was organically reared. So yes, I don't really like to buy meat from the supermarket but I know there's varying different advice out there about meat from the supermarket but I do like to buy local and I do like it if it's um, reared in a sustainable way as well. So yes, um, unfortunately I can't get turkey anymore and we all used to really enjoy minced turkey but we still have chicken and pork and beef and then on a Monday and a, on a, Monday and a Friday I will cook fish so we'll either have salmon or tuna or mackerel, crab, whitefish, um, you name it, we would probably eat it, to be honest with you. Prawns, my son absolutely loves prawns, so we have prawn meal, so I'll make sweet and sour prawns. Um, I also do a really nice spicy rice with prawns as well. Um, so yes. A uh, lot of variety and then as I said during the week vegan and vegetarian so I'll do things with beans as well so we have cannellini beans we have chickpeas butter beans black beans we have a lot of beans in this house I have to say um, but with the vegan meals occasionally if I have some in the freezer I will add uh, chicken or beef stock so they're not that vegan I have to say we're still having a little bit of meat during the week but um, yes, normally we would just have, uh, I don't know, like a spaghetti bolognese with cannellini beans. I'd leave out the meat and replace it with cannellini beans. Or I make a shepherd's pie with lentils as well. Uh, red lentils, we do eat quite a lot of red lentils. We have a soup that I really like to make, a tomato soup with red lentils. And I will make that with beef or chicken stock as well. The boy, uh, my husband and son tend to find that a bit tastier than um, just with uh, milk or vegetable stock. So yes as i said we have a wide variety of dinners and then on to desserts and we're not really big dessert eaters i don't make dessert in the evening um i normally only make dessert once a week i have to say and that's normally on a sunday and if we're having lunch we will normally have it at lunchtime as well rather than in the evening um, my son ted will have something called bear yo-yos for his dessert after dinner with his milk and he will have rice cakes as well with honey on if he's still a bit hungry after his dinner occasionally i make biscuits that the boys both eat so my husband and son will eat biscuits occasionally after dinner as well um, but as i said i normally only make dessert once a week and we normally have this on a sunday so recently, I think the most recent thing I've made is a pineapple upside down cake, which was absolutely delicious. And I will insert a picture of it here. And I will also link my recipe in the description box below for you as well. 
Um, and also, I do like to make things like chocolate souffle. I'm a massive chocolate lover, so if I was in a restaurant and there was something chocolate on the menu, I would probably go for that. Um, and I also like to make a trifle. So my dad, every year at Christmas, would always make a trifle, or on a special occasion, he would make his trifle. So I do like to make a trifle as well. I've made lots of desserts and they are all on my blog Googie's Kitchen Life as well. So if you want to go and check that out, I will link that in the description box below for you. So yes, that's our desserts. So that's what I typically eat in a day. Um, I'm sorry if this video has gone on for hours and thank you so much if you've made it to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I'm going to say goodbye now. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.